Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to make our crinkle top brownie cookies. These are so chocolatey, so chewy, and so melting your mouth delicious. If you like chocolate as much as us, be sure to like this video and subscribe because we post twice a week, sometimes once a week, but mostly twice a week. And without further ado, let's get started. Starting off, preheat your oven to 350 degrees, then line a baking sheet with parchment paper and set aside. Now we're going to whisk together our dry ingredients. In a medium sized bowl, add in three quarter cups of flour, a quarter cup of cocoa powder, one teaspoon baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Whisk until combined. Today we used Dutch processed cocoa, which is basically just darker than normal cocoa powder, but regular unsweetened cocoa powder will also work for this recipe. Then you'll need eight ounces of bittersweet chocolate bars, but bittersweet chocolate chips will also work. So the reason why we use bittersweet chocolate, which is also known as dark chocolate for this recipe, is because the cookie base is already sweet enough, so we don't need any more sugar from the chocolate. Then transfer all of your chopped chocolate to a bowl. And to your chocolate, add in four tablespoons of unsalted butter. And microwave that in 15 second increments until your chocolate is silky and smooth. Be sure to watch your chocolate in the microwave because it can and will burn, so be careful. Now to the chocolate, add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract, a quarter cup of packed brown sugar, and two thirds cup of white sugar. And beat until smooth. It should take about two to three minutes. In this recipe, we use more white sugar than brown sugar because white sugar makes these cookies thinner with a crispy edge and a chewy center. After beating, add in two room temperature eggs, adding them one at a time. And scrape down the sides of the bowl as needed. Finally, add the dry mixture, beating until fully combined. Don't overmix. And our hand mixer ran out of battery, so that's why we're using a spatula to fold ours in, but using a hand mixer is definitely a lot easier. Once the flour is combined, it should look like a thick brownie batter. With a regular sized cookie scoop, scoop the batter onto the pan. They will spread out, so be sure to space them about two inches apart. Before putting them in the oven, turn down your oven temperature to 300 degrees. Then bake the cookies for 12 to 13 minutes. After five minutes of baking, take the pan out of the oven and bang it on the counter a few times, then put it back into the oven. Pan banging gives the cookies that crinkle top which we want. Repeat the pan banging once more before they're done cooking. Once out of the oven, they should look slightly undercooked, but they'll continue cooking on the pan. Then top with an optional sprinkle of sea salt. The sea salt makes these cookies look so pretty and it adds another depth of flavor to the cookies. These are so good, I love them so much. And if you guys love brownies, you're gonna love these. And you can make it an ice cream sandwich, like put vanilla or chocolate ice cream in it. That would be really good. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give us a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and we will see you next week. Bye.